I just had to try so hard to get this freaking camera system the way it is. You're being held up by hair ties. All right, moving on. Today we are here to turn this dark auburn red hair into platinum blonde or like a light pale blonde. We'll see what happens. Let's just dive right in. I'm going to be using Color Fix by one and only. It's color strip for your hair that has argan oil infused into it since I'm gonna be bleaching, especially with 40 volume developer. This is much more gentle than using color oops that is very drying to your hair. So this will help not be so damaging and dry. Before I get started, I just want you to know I am not a professional, but I've been dyeing my hair since 2012. So <sighs> hopefully that uh, I have something to show for it. I have my magic hair dyeing kit under my sink. Just a glass Pyrex bowl because you can just go ahead and put everything you need into the bowl for one use instead of doing two uses worth separately. I also have a whisk that I took from a kitchen mixer that we never use. I also have these gloves from Sally Beauty Supply. Every product that we're gonna be using for this method today is from Sally Beauty Supply. I spent about $75, but I also have the Sally membership that saves you a pretty good amount of money. It's only $5 a year. Highly recommend if you dye your hair a lot or if you just go to get beauty supplies a lot. Please pardon how whack my hair looks right now. It's been up in a bun for the past two days. I just wanted to show you guys the length of my hair. It's about at my collarbones. For the amount of product that I'm gonna be using today, you can adjust depending on how long your hair is. So it may be more expensive if your hair is pretty long, sorry. So I'm going to open the color fix. Like I said, I'm gonna be using two containers. There are three steps involved in color fix. The first two are the only steps that I'm going to be using. The first step is the color reducer and the second step is the conditioning catalyst. The third step is processing lotion, which I'm not gonna use because I'm pretty sure that this helps to stop the color stripping from happening if your hair is getting too light, but I'm trying to go blonde, so that's going in the trash can. So I'm gonna go ahead and put both of these products fully into the bowl and times that by two since I'm doing both boxes. Step number one. This stuff stinks really bad, so if you're having guests over in the next couple days, uh, you might wanna like uh, <laughs> light some candles. And second box. Now that both bottles of both boxes are in the bowl, I'm going to mix them with the whisk. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my gloves on and I'm just going to apply it first on all of the places that are super pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera and I will see you guys when my head is fully coated. Okay, so for every step that I do, I'm going to follow with only conditioner. You're okay if you use warm water for warm or hot water for this process and the bleaching afterwards when you take a shower, but after the toning, you might wanna use cooler water. This conditioner works amazing for me. It literally has saved my hair. It's the Ren Pure Plant-Based Beauty Biotin and Collagen Thickening and Strengthening Conditioner. That's a mouthful. I also have the shampoo in there, but obviously we're not using shampoo right now, so I don't really need to show you anyways, but it really smooths your hair. I'm just going to wash my hair with this warm water after 25 minutes. I'll see you when my hair is dry after I take my shower. Voila! We are at a good place to bleach, let me tell you. This is the lightest I've ever seen my hair after color fix. So we're at a good spot. I will say the red that I had was a semi-permanent. It was the Sunset Orange by Arctic Fox, but I swear I've never been disappointed with color fix or color oops when taking color out of hair. As long as you have bleached it before, usually a lot of color will come out. I'm very happy that it worked out that way. I used mostly cold air when blow drying for this stubborn ends, I did use slightly warm air. Um, I suggest if you are doing it on your scalp to do cool before you bleach because if you have a very irritated hot scalp before you bleach, when you bleach, your scalp will feel like it's on fire and it will itch uncontrollably. It's going to itch already, but after you use really hot air with a blow dryer, it's, it's the worst. <laughs> 
just thought I'd give you that heads up. So now I'm about to do the bleaching. First things first, I'm gonna use the bleach, which is the Prism Lights Blue Tinted Bleach by Salon Care. The violet only goes four shades lighter. This goes five max. I will say, to be honest, this makes a big difference. The violet one is more like a toned down bleaching version of this. This is like extreme. You can use it on or off the scalp, so a good idea would be starting with my undercut since it's the natural brown. This is a resealable bag, which is awesome. I usually get the tubs, but they didn't have the tubs at the Sally Beauty that I went to, so a bag will do. Before I get started with that, I want to show you the developer and a couple other things that I'm going to be putting in my bleach mixture. This is the 40 volume Salon Care developer. A lot of you are going to say 40 volume is way too much, but my hair is pretty thick, so it's kind of necessary. When I used 30 volume, my hair did not get as blonde as I wanted, and that's what caused me to overprocess it and do it again, and not the one of the video that I showed, but this was not in a video. I didn't really get a happy result. Now this, I think I might have messed up at Sally Beauty, but at the end we will see if this works fine. I got the Ion Color Brilliance Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1. The part that I failed with is getting the second step, but I think it's fine because the second step is more like a color sealer kind of thing. I think we'll be okay with just using this since we're not dyeing it with a color. Back when I did my dark brown to silver hair video, the stylist who was actually a stylist previous to her Sally Beauty job, she told me to put half of this in the bleach and half of it in the toner mixture. So. That's what I'm going to do. Basically, it's just going to keep my hair from breaking more than it would without that. All right, let's get started. Hopefully there's a scoop in this one like there usually is. Oh, I'll go get my scoop for my other tub of bleach. I just happened to be lucky enough to find my scoop from my other tub of Prism Lights bleach, which is the violet one and I'm not using it. Therefore, I would suggest actually buying the tub if you don't already have one. <laughs> so it says on the back that the ratio is one scoop of bleach, two scoops of developer is your ratio. So make however much you need for your hair length and you're good to go. But I'm gonna do three scoops of the bleach. I highly advise you not to forget how many scoops you've done. Three scoops of bleach, six scoops of developer. Now I'm gonna get the Perfection Booster. Basically on the box it says that it helps restore moisture, reduce breakage, and prevent dryness during chemical services. Yeah, there we go. That's half. Time to mix it. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is an ideal no clump consistency. And this is gonna sound crazy, but for some reason my undercut is super stubborn. It takes forever to lighten compared to the rest of my hair. Undercut, check. This is really potent. The next place I'm gonna go is in here because this part is pretty stubborn too. I will say the place that I struggle the most to get lightened, as most people do, is right after the roots. I'll also get that first. All right, folks, I think I'm gonna turn off the camera um, and I'm just gonna focus because um, I don't want to over process my hair. I'll see you when my head is covered in bleach. I'm gonna turn you off with my nose. Oh, I can't reach. Whoa, that took forever. My hair is short, but I have a lot of it. So my whole head is covered in bleach. Probably going to only wait like 10 more minutes maybe. This side is super saturated and I don't want to over process it. I'm just gonna wait till this side is caught up to the other side and then I'm going to go take a shower and use lots and lots and lots of conditioner. 40 volume is very strong. But if you have really thin hair, I wouldn't suggest using 40 volume, maybe 30 or lower. It turned out pretty damn bright and also pretty damn damaging. <laughs> After I washed it, it was very uh, elasticy and stuff like that. Go figure, because I used 40 volume for all those people who want to nitpick in the comments. Yeah, I know, I used 40 volume, eh. I've came back from this before and I'm gonna do it again. It's It's been a day and I've just let it chill out because 
I don't want it to fall out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the toning. After I do this, you guys, I'm just gonna have to revive my hair for a little while. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use both boxes of the color charm right now and put them both into the glass bowl. I think this is stronger than the bleach in terms of scent. Now I'm gonna use the blue measuring bowl to put the developers in. Since the toner is 1.4 ounces each, for each bottle you're gonna do 2.8 ounces of the color charm developer. This is the 20 volume, so I'm gonna go a little under the third line and do that again since I'm bad at quick math. <laughs> Not alone in that, right? Now I'm going to add the rest of this Absolute Perfection Booster. And last but not least, I'm gonna add the Red and Gold Corrector Plus packet. It's basically just very concentrated purple that will help tone. Now that everything is mixed and I'm high off of all the fumes, it's time to get started. And I don't think it really matters where you apply first with this stuff as long as you get it nice and evenly spread, which won't be hard. This consistency is very easy to spread. Everything is nice and in there. I'm gonna leave it for like 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna take a shower with lukewarm slash cool water and I'm going to just use conditioner again. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Not completely. Okay, let's get into this really quick. So, as I was editing the video, I noticed that my last clip was super dry and damaged hair. Uh, I'm sick right now, excuse me. And I just wanted to clarify that I actually found the best routine for my hair. It is so healthy right now. It's so shiny and smooth. And I can't even believe that I bleached it just like two weeks ago and it's already like really healthy. This is a basically an advertisement for my next video. If you guys want me to do a video about how I heal my hair or like make it tameable, I would be glad to show you guys. I just wanted to show you that this is, that was not the end result. This is the end result. Nice and soft and shiny and smooth.